Hi y'all, I'm out here. I just wanted to show you or bring you along for one of our little projects that we're going to be doing here on the farm today. Somebody sent us a picture of one of these tanks being used as a calf hutch slash calf warming hutch or transport hutch. So what we're going to do here today is take one of these tanks. We have a few of them here that uh, we get stuff for our baler in, our BB940A baler, New Holland baler. Um, and so they don't take them back, we get to keep them. And so we're going to transform this into a uh, calf warming hutch slash transport hutch. Uh, it'll have a lot of different uses here. It's another way that we can reuse some of the materials that we get here on the farm and um, make them into something useful. Uh, this is something, like I said, somebody sent us a picture and we're just going to kind of run with it and see what we can come up with on our own uh, and see how we can make it work. So I hope you enjoy this little project that we're going to be doing here using uh, one of these tanks. And we'll see how it works out here for us. All right, so here you can see... Uh, just a, a rough cut here we did. Uh, we got some of the uh, metal bars off and cut a door in. So we'll get it uh, cleaned up here and uh, safe for a calf to go in and out of. All right, so you can see here we got these uh, nice and smooth there on this side. We'll go ahead and go ahead and work on this side next. Get those smooth. I think this will be a, a nice little calf hutch slash warming area for our calves when we go to pick them up or if they're born in the winter. So the reason why we uh, smooth those off is so that the calves don't get injured as we put them into the little uh, box here. We will eventually be building a door to put on here as well that we can uh, close it off so that we can take it with us when we go to pick up calves from the dairies around us. All right, so we got all the metal edges uh, grinded smooth here. Um, all right, so here you can see uh, we have a light in the top of it. Uh, right now we just have a plain white light, but you could use a red light or whatever kind of light you want for heat. Uh, and that would allow this to be used as a heating uh, area for calves. What we'd like to do is put a thermometer on the edge of it, uh, just so we can monitor the temperature in here, uh, keep the calves warm. Uh, we can actually put straw in the bottom of it, and that will give them a nice little bed. We did leave the lip on the edge here. So that uh, when you're pulling the calves in and out, it's not pulling the straw in and out with the calf. But uh, it's not so much of a lip that you can't um, clean it out if you need to. Just show you the top here, uh, how we have it uh, clamped on here. This is actually where they would have filled the tank. Um, we can put this back on when we're not using it as a warming hutch. Uh, take the light lamp out and put this back on for travel purposes if we would need it. All right, so we have some straw put in there. Uh, we do have a calf to go pick up. So for now, until we get a door built, we will use the tailgate of the truck for a gate. It'll probably come up to about right there, so we won't have to worry about the calf jumping out. And uh, that'll be a nice little uh, warm area for the calf to be brought home in. It will prevent any drafts uh, that you're always a little bit worried about when you're bringing calves home. You want to try and keep them uh, from getting too shook up or anything like that. So this is a nice little safe area that we can transport calves in, in the back of a pickup. But it will also convert to a calf warming hutch if we would need it uh, for any newborn calves. So, like I said, for now, uh, we have some straw in there. Uh, we're thinking about getting a bag of sawdust. I think it'll be easier to clean up uh, if there's any poop or anything that needs to be cleaned up. 
that'll be a little bit easier to to clean out than the straw but for now this is what we had available so this is what we put in but yeah we will probably get a bag of sawdust to put in here and that'll provide uh, the same uh, necessities that the straw does but it'll be easier to clean up and clean out all right so we're gonna get ready to uh, go pick up that calf here we're gonna take the light back out and then we'll be picking it up with a skid loader we'll pick it up from uh, this end here and put it on the back of the truck and we'll see where it how it sits on the truck and uh, how it works with the tailgate here The nice thing about Fords here is they actually do have a receptacle in the truck that if we would want to be really high tech, we could plug it in, plug an extension cord in, and uh, plug the light in and have a light and a warm uh, calf hutch on the go. But I'm not sure how high tech we're going to be for now. For now, we'll just see how this works. So here's what it looks like, uh, all said and done with the tailgate up and it inside. We're probably going to, until we can uh, get a door built for it, kind of modify it a little bit, uh, put something across the top there, just to be on the safe side. Again, this was not our idea. Somebody sent us a picture of something like this and we kind of just rolled with it. Just show you here, the Ford does have a, uh, strap hooks that we can uh, hook straps to on either side here hook it around the back of this to hold it in place so it doesn't move around as we're driving and i'm not sure if we'll use the piece of plastic for now that we cut out of here or what we're going to do we're going to try and uh, modify something that will just close up the top a little bit more than that tailgate does until we can come up with a way to attach some sort of door on this so the calves don't get hurt if they attempt to jump out because we've seen just about everything with the calves that we've hauled. So we want to make sure that it's a safe place for the calf to be brought back to the farm. All right, so there you have it. Just a few bungee straps. Doesn't hold much, take much to hold these in place. One on each side and that's... Uh, not going to go anywhere for now, so. We could throw a ratchet strap across the top, but around here when we go get a calf, it's uh, slow and easy. We don't want to be jerking the truck around, so those bungee straps will work just fine. Uh, we're not going to go 60 miles an hour and then slam the brakes on and worry about throwing the calf in the hutch. So we'll still keep it nice and slow, take the back roads, and... Uh, that'll be a nice little setup for us. It'll keep the draft down as uh, we're driving down the road and keep the calves nice and warm and hopefully decrease stress on them as they're being moved from one farm to the next. So I hope you enjoyed this video on us making a uh, calf transport slash heating box 
for use here on the farm. Thanks for watching and have a great day.